Hey Fairview, Joshua Treadway, youth pastor here at Fairview. Uh, we are continuing through the book of Psalms. We're in Psalm 63 today. I'll give you a chance to turn there and I'll open in a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you that you have given us uh, the, the book of Psalms, this collection of uh, praises and prayers. Uh, you've given us an example of how we can communicate with you, how we can be in relationship with you, Lord. As we look to study it and to learn truths from it, uh, help us to remember that these truths, understanding this, is for a purpose, and that is to further our relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Like I said, Psalm 63, if you want to turn there, starting in verse 1, O God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you, so I will bless you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me, but those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall exalt, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. David is looking towards God, not just as salvation, though he is looking towards God as salvation, not just as hope, but as someone who is satisfying. I had the privilege of having a game night with some very close friends a couple of nights ago, and to enjoy food uh, and, and to enjoy that fellowship left me feeling very satisfied. It was just a wonderful time. Yet that satisfaction is just, just, a, just a, 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 a smidge, a, just, just a, a shadow of what is to come when we are in the full and complete presence of God. He is our satisfaction. He saves us, we know that. Uh, we know that we ought to worship Him because He is worthy. We know that we need to cling to Him. But the fact is, we're in relationship with Him. Some of the most joyful moments we can have in our human lives are relationship-based. Enjoying our families, our friends, our loved ones. Those are some of the greatest human's joys because they're a reflection of the ultimate joy of being in relationship with God. David understands this and he knows that God is the ultimate satisfaction for these desires. He remembers God. He meditates on God. He, he sings for joy when he takes refuge in God. Not because he needs refuge, but because God continues to be faithful no matter what. So I encourage you, uh, Fairview, as you think about the Lord, remember that He's not just your Savior, which He is. He's done so much to take care of you. He's not just uh, the one in charge of all eternity, though He is. He knows it all. He's your Father, and He wants a relationship with you. Be satisfied in Him, and have a great Thursday.